Mr. Chairman. And uh, I just would acknowledge both of our witnesses as very good friends. And uh, I would say to General Lyons, it's not too late to change your mind. <laughs> Um, as stated many times before, this committee's top priority is to ensure the effective implementation of the NDS, National Defense Strategy, which focuses on China and Russia as the primary threats to our national security. That means we've got to ensure that our combatant commands have what they need to address the challenge of this strategic competition. And we're going to be talking about that uh, with uh, both of our witnesses. And you've got to be real, and I'm sure you will be, very straightforward. And uh, with some of the reductions that, as I see them, that are not going to be uh, desirable. I want to highlight that Russia's recent activities regarding Ukraine are very concerning. At the same time, Russia and Chinese threats are converging in Europe with an ever more aggressive China seeking influence and threatening security through the, the economic coercion. Uh, these growing threats, there, there are three, that highlight, they highlight the value of our of our 2018 NDS, and uh, secondly, they illustrate why we should not be reducing defense spending, and thirdly, uh, demonstrate the critical need for more advanced capabilities like the F-35 uh, to deter Russia, particularly since there has been some controversy uh, over that from some of the leadership of this administration. Transcom is focused on full-spectrum mobility operations to meet requirements needed to combat both Russia and China, as well as supporting other global engagements, from training to force uh, projection uh, to forward deployed forces. I'm encouraged to hear the administration's voice, uh, uh, strong support for NATO, but you know, the rhetoric is easy. We want to make sure we have the resources to support that, those statements that are being made. Uh, General Walters, I look forward to hearing about the priorities for uh, the European deterrent initiative and where else we need to bolster our defenses to address threats you see growing every day. General Lyons, I would like to know the status of our refueling capability that the chairman has already uh, addressed, as well as he has addressed the global household uh, goods contacts. We have some specific questions about that. And finally, whether this morning or in our classified session, uh, I would like to hear from both of you as to how this contested environment impacts mobility operations. General Lyons, it's, uh, you've been a, a friend for a long time, and as I said, it's not too late. Mr. Chairman.